things get sketchy. Tier fours are missing for Roxkus. One tier four still standing for for, uh, for Alliance, and they're just going to death push themselves. They have superior team fight if they can hit things before they lose their big team fight heroes. If Mag ends up dying before he can get off an RP, this could be a disaster. They're just going to go for it. Loda leading off, going right to work. Rox has got to come back quickly. There's an enfeeble onto Loda. Let's see how they want to engage this. Both teams spread out massively. BZZ is up to the top. They're losing base back at home. So they have to decide where they want to commit because they're they, up. Here we go. BKB used. There's going to be an engagement right onto Yol. Yol left out. There's going to be an RP. Actually whiffed. S4 got no one with it. So wasted opportunity there. Now the re-engagement out of Roxas. Behind that, we've got BZZ hit with the Hex. Solo is going to end up dropping to Loda. Overgrowth holding him in place. There's going to be a three-man coil. Buyback now out of Solo. S4 has to get back out of the fight. There's going to be a grave that keeps EGM alive for the moment. Loda going to be hit with the shackles. They can't get him out of it. Not enough damage to follow up. S4 Kyle coming in. There's a Hex to follow, but not enough damage. Triple kill for Loda as Solo has to run. Stomp is there, but the us, the Tornado, getting Loda into the air actually may have saved him there. The rest of Rocks falling back. S4 and company selling out on the Ancient for the moment. Roxkus trying to scramble to find an answer to Loda. There's going to be another stomp. Do they have the damage? No, S4. They're just giving him the great shackles, but enough time to bring him down. S4 now next on the list. They end up getting BCC. He's going to sell out. BK being and selling out on the Ancient. There's going to be a grave from Ake. Is it enough? Stomp now onto Ake as he's punished. The Ancient down to about a quarter, but they're able to hold for the moment. Look at the base back home. Look at the base back home. Rox is going to end up winning this with nothing but creeps. Buyback from Bulldog. The creeps going to work. Here comes Solo. Solo teleporting in off of the boots of travel. And they're going to end up taking this game off of Alliance. And what has to be one of the most long sequences of five man sellout base races I've ever seen in Dota history. 48 minutes and 50 seconds, and I have not been yelling for that long and longer than I can remember. Just constant back and forth, and Alliance ends up dropping to rocks after